Next tonight, for leaseholders on the Noel Park estate in Haringey, the last month has been described as a living nightmare. 76 households received letters from the council in September saying they faced bills of up to £118,000 each for essential repairs. With many already struggling with financial pressures due to COVID, some say they've stopped sleeping with worry, as Katie Barnfield reports. These so-called bathroom pods on the Knoll Park estate were built as a temporary solution almost 50 years ago. Now they're falling apart. They are full of asbestos. They are crumbling like this. Mm -hmm. They had a life expectancy of 15 years. They should have been replaced in 1985. But their replacement has become a huge row between the council and the people who live here after leaseholders were told they had to foot the bill at enormous cost. Um, an average was um, £100,000 for a double replacement. And do you know why it's going to cost so much money to get rid of these or replace them? Um, absolutely no idea. The doors, the windows, we weren't expecting in the drainage, all of these costs. A group of the leaseholders have now come together to beg Haringey Council to reconsider, saying they've been told they have to pay whether or not they can afford it. Absolutely devastated, absolutely devastated. At the moment, I haven't worked this year because of COVID. Now, we can't even sell our property, so we are stuck here, not being able to pay the mortgage. We are potentially going to lose our homes. Tilda already had her pod repaired two years ago. She's now been told she has to pay £67,000 to have it torn out and done again. Can you afford that? I couldn't afford it when I was working, let alone now. I was made redundant in January. I've been rejected twice for universal credit. So where am I going to get £67,000 from? Haringey Council told us we are improving housing conditions for 242 flats in the Knoll Park area, more than two-thirds of whom are council tenants. We appreciate this will be costly, but we cannot expect our tenants to pay the cost of people who own these homes. We will ensure that whatever final payments are required can be done in a reasonable and proportionate way. If they're maintaining the property, it wouldn't need such drastic measures. If the, if the pod was removed after the 15-year lifespan, we wouldn't be in this situation. The council say they are continuing discussions with everyone affected, but the leaseholders say if the cost doesn't come down, many of them will end up with no homes at all. Katie Barnfield, ITV News.